You are listening to the Cigar Noise Boys. 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 Sheets of empty canvas, untouched sheets of clay were laid spread out. Da 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 da. Their body once did. Um, all five oh, horizons. This is this is a uh, a band I don't like. Revolved around soul as your it's not to the song killer. It's a uh, white now Stone Temple Pilots. I tasted uh, Pearl Jam Black. Yeah, same. Don't like either of those. Uh, this is one of uh, Melissa's favorite songs, especially uh, especially the part at the end where. Uh, I know someday you'll have a beautiful life. I know you'll be a star in somebody else's sky. But why? Why? Why can't it be? Oh, can it be mine? You don't like Pearl Jam? No, I don't. Uh, I like a lot of their stuff. Uh, I do like a lot of grunge. I like Allison Chain, Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, <sighs> Allison yeah. Chain, the Nirvana. hits are okay. Yeah. yeah, the hits. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing like how I do with some other music. Or some whole <laughs> You're not a Bonnie Ver fan. Uh, uh, Bonnie Ver, yeah. It's not like Bonnie What's up? Cigar Noise Voice. Hey. Hey, uh, PCA just happened. How was that? It was fun. Um, our sponsor, Dave West of Cigar Noise. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Oh. I, I was going to, hold on. Hey, listeners. You already... Tell me what this, tell me what you think this is. <laughs> If you guess ginger beer, home brewed, you're correct. If you guess cigar noise, you're incorrect. But guess what? Cigar noise is our sponsor. Go ahead, do the pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I was saying, uh, uh, I did not see him, the uh, PCA, uh, from Small Batch. But, um, yeah, uh, yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. It was probably the most fun show I've had. Um, it was really, really fun. Um, yeah, it was great. It was uh, enthralling. Uh, sixty singles of the Be So Horny, and I had to be very stingy with them. Um, I ran out of them before Triple B uh, uh, asked me for one. They, I got them Friday night. I was up by Monday morning. So yeah, uh, but smoked it, loved it. Um. Seriously, like, uh, a lot of people love it. So, if, hey, if you got on, if you got in on that uh, pre-order, man, uh, and you're gonna be happy, man. That's all I gotta say. Hey, hey, um, question, Visa Horny, question, real quick. Yeah, Ben, Sisters and Smoke just asked our small batch review group uh, if anyone smoked it because she was she heard that you need to have a full stomach. Agree or disagree? Yeah, I did. I told her she should probably eat something beforehand. Okay. I really want to um to bring back with Triple B, but there's I should have given him some cigars too, but I'm sending you shit anyway. So, uh, but yeah, okay. I, I warned Ben that she needed to, you know, because it's it's all high priming viso, so it's uh um yeah um but. So the the people who did smoke it, um, like let's say like, um, I visited Black Label Trading Company because they're rep in the Midwest. I'm really good friends with, and he was he was kind of there for me when I was going through uh, my health issues and stuff back in 2017. So I, me and him have a good relationship, and um, he uh he he's gonna buy a or he bought a bundle, and he wanted a sample for you, man. And then, so I was talking to him, and Angela was listening, kind of. And then she's like, "That sounds like that sounds really interesting. Can I get one?" Or, or I think I'm, I'm either she asked or I offered it. But I'm like, "Yeah, I'm like, actually, I would love for you and Jane to try it." And they both tried it, and they said they loved it. They said it was really good. And then Skip and told Skip how much they liked it. And then uh, they they like they like Skip. Are you sure? Like I know Tyler said it's all viso. But it burned super straight and held a nice ass. Like, is it, is it really all Viso? And Skip's like, yeah, it's, it's all Viso. 
So it, it uh it burns really good. Uh, I sat down. Go on. You Pause for a second. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, real quick, if anyone realizes that the quality is not the best, Tyler's on his break. Oh shit! So is it it's, bad? It's, it's not that bad. Uh, it's okay. listenable. Listenable. Mm. I'd sit through right, it let me, once. Let me do. Yeah. Let but me no, the second, second thing I wanted to bring up. So you said people were surprised that uh, it burnt straight being all viso. Uh -huh. Why is that such a shocker? What would be expected uh, be from doing all viso? Well, because it's it's right underneath Lajero. So, like, okay, let's say you have a plant of tobacco, and then you have the bottom of the plant, you know, is the, the Seiko or Velada, whatever, depending on the country of origin. Because some countries, anyways... So the bottom is zero, okay, and the top of the plant is ten, Lajero. So like, and I'm probably explaining this a little wrong, but how hot so is like, this plant? Yeah, so like seven, eight, nine, ten, or eight, nine, ten the is sexy be, plant. Is Lajero, and then the the five, six, seven, you know, be Viso, but so you could have a Viso that it could be like a seven or eight. eight like borderline like hero. Oh, like after it's so like when you have a bunch of tobacco and you're trying to sell it, you're gonna try to throw some visa. You're gonna try to throw some visa in with the lajero so that you can get more money for it. Ooh. So it doesn't really. So like the whole thing about the texture and how how thick it is, how you know the everything. It's it's not just it's not cut and dry. If it's lajero, if it's seiko, if it's viso. So but viso's at the top of the plan, right underneath lajero, but it's borderline lajero and then some of the some of the other viso could be borderline seiko is all high priming viso thicker viso um and it's mostly nicaraguan you know so it's going to be even thicker so it's it's just really strong so a, a, like lajero they say you can't put all lajero in a blend because it won't burn straight you know uh Tatuaje makes the fausto which i believe is all lajero Wave, but that one burns pretty pretty straight. But um, yeah, uh, Viso is a really thick high priming. It's right underneath Lajero. Some of it could be considered Lajero, depending on whatever on, on the. But yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, thick tobacco, so it sometimes it can burn um, a little wavy or or you know, and oily and whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's all Viso. But yeah, they were surprised it was all Viso, you know, and. Uh, Skip told him that it was, you know. Um, That's what I heard. I, yeah, and then I gave, uh, I was showing at Crown Heads and then uh, Miguel. I've always seen John Huber. I might have been like, you know, we uh, have the booth, whatever. But he came to me and, uh, fuck, uh, the other Crown Heads guys, Dave Payne, Brian McGee, Miguel Shodell, and then Tyler Messinoza came over. And then, uh, so Miguel was selling about my cigar and, I asked him, hey, you want to try it? He's like, I would love to try it. And then John Huber sat down there with me and smoked the whole cigar, and he loved it. It would be a shame if this was a one-time release. Like, hey, it's really, really good. Um, and, uh, yeah, so John Huber loved it. And then, uh, so then after that, it was like, it was, that was day four. Um, so we we go back, uh, I go back to the Roma Craft booth, and we start tearing it down. Um, and then come um, so we can fill the crates with all the, the stuff from the from the uh, um, the booth so we can pack it away and, and then go into the storage. But we all know when it comes, so it, it could take hours, and it did take hours. Uh, we those we were done by the booth was tore apart by like one thirty, so we were gonna wait. We didn't want to eat until everything was done, everything was put away because we don't want to get a full tummy and then come back and have to do some more work so um everybody left and then uh, i was gonna hang back lee hustler john we were gonna hang back wait for the crates but it was taking forever so me and mike decided to me and get boots and mike was out for lunch so we walked out of the trade show and then we're heading towards like yardberg and then we get a call that skip and mike never made it out of the trade show they ended up stopping at tatuaje um, and they, uh, so we, I, we came back and then we ended up for about 
two or three hours after the trade show closed. Um, so it was, and it was, it was awesome. The Jeff Mute from Fosboro and, and Match. It was uh, Pete Johnson, Casey Johnson, Surrogate Dan, their rep Mo. Um, uh, Steve Saka came by. Uh, Forgetting one. Uh, from Fritz- Omar from Fratello came by. You better believe he was there. Uh, uh, conveniently yeah. cropped out of your photo, by the way. Oh, no, he only stopped by for about five minutes. Okay. But, like, it was it was probably a top three hangout time in my whole entire life. Because Saka and Skip talking about tobacco, talking about factories, talking about blends, talking about all this stuff. It was fascinating. And then, um, so I gave Pete one of my cigars. I gave Saka one of my cigars. Uh, Saka started smoking it. He didn't say anything. I said, he got down about a quarter inch, you know, so just do it. And I asked him, hey, what do you think about it, you know, man? And he's like, well, I'm still smoking it. What does that tell you? I'm like, oh, okay. So he likes it. And then uh, Pete, uh, before he even let it, he's like, dude, I already really like the uh, the pre light experience. It's, it sounds really, it's it tastes good on the drive. It smells really good. He lit it up. He's eating this. You know, he's like, and I can, you know, this is day four and I can taste it. Like, this is really good. And then, like, every, Every like ten minutes, he he kind of give me a look and kind of like nod to me like he like, really enjoyed it. And then at the end, he said uh, it was legit one of the best cigars he smoked at the trade show. Uh, um, so I mean that was like that. I uh, Hubert, uh, James, Angela, Saka, he you know and Skip's been and even Skip's like dude, it is a really good cigar. Like he was telling Pete, you know, and he's like Tyler, you did all this. And then he's like, up the, and then Skip's like, yeah, he did it all. He's like, I helped a little bit, but that, this is all Tyler. So, but I mean, uh, hanging out with Pete for that long and done the podcast for a long time. Uh, and that was great. But like, it was like a top, like it was, it was, it was awesome, man. It was like what every cigar nerd like dream is. And it was, it was a lot of fun. And I learned so much from Skip Saka. Saka was only there for a long time, but. Um, Pete and Skip, you know, the differences in the past, and it's all just like misunderstanding. So they were able to like figure the heck shit, even though it really wasn't one, it was more it's just misunderstanding. But it was it was awesome, man. And to hear them tell stories about when they started, about where they're at, like, future projects, about everything. It was it was dope, you know, and Tatawahe was celebrating twenty years um, you know, in the industry and uh it was it was awesome, um, yeah. But so, I came back with no samples, so that sucks. Um, so I had nothing to smoke until the next shipment comes, which uh, should be fairly soon. I'm gonna check with Alex because uh, I got to hang out with Alex a lot. Some, to some tobacco guys. Um, Alex, bunch of work cigars. Uh, you think uh, the next shipment's gonna have the Quinquagenario? I'm I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to ask uh, Alex. I'm Did not any, sure. I don't know if anyone else has said this. Initially, I'm pretty sure Skip was saying that it was Kin Quagenario, and now everyone is uh-huh. saying it's Quinn Quagenario. I'm sure people are just saying it. However, it's easy for them to say. Okay. Well, look, it's a one. It's a one time release, so I don't think you. It's not like the L Wednesday where it took people forever to. You know, it's a one time release. I just say skip fifty, and everybody knows what's up. Or the, the like, the bundle said skip Martin project. I'm just gonna call it that the skip Martin project. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's uh, it's funny because everybody says that Ernesto Perez Creo makes Nicaraguan cigars in the Dominican Republic, and I smoked that anyone from Brownhead that's twenty bucks, and it tasted like a, it tasted like a, my father's cigar. It was really good. It was from Crownhead. I liked it a lot. Yeah, so yeah, uh, the new crown is really good. And then I smoked the Tatuai 20th, that was good. And I smoked a lot of the Volstead. Uh, I mean, cigars eight to ten bucks. Um, it's a really good cigar, the Volstead. Cool. I haven't talked to the manager yet. I think we might. 
be bringing in Roma in a month. I don't know what that means. Okay, A, I don't know what is going on for a year now. I don't know, like, it, it, oh, that's, I don't understand, but not my, uh, West Coast uh, Cigars came by. Okay. Nice. Yeah, new it's, ownership. Uh, they, yeah, they redid the humidor. They're gonna, they're gonna, uh, re up, um, I'm going to be back in October. I'm going to be in San Jose in October. So I hope to see uh, the new Intemperance Holstead on the show. And he said, I hope so too. So Sweet. Well, you're going to be coming to Ohlone too. You better be. Because you're going to be in yeah, Brooklyn area for the show? Yeah. Yeah. For the post service, Death Gap for Beauty. Yeah. Uh, anybody give you tasting notes for the Viso? Um... No, I mean, that's the thing, like, no offense to you, you're a cigar reviewer. Like, when you talk to cigar guys, they don't say what you guys say, what with cigar reviewers. Sweetness, earthiness, kind of like, they don't, like, they don't do all that. It's not, I don't even really even consider it tasting notes. It tastes like well-fermented, well-aged tobacco. I don't know. Uh, I got a little, the only thing I heard was, but um, it was sorry. Say that again. You cut out. Really got was when when Pete said there was a lot of sweetness in it. Got it. That's about the only they just they all were just raving about it. So nice. Yeah. Um, oh, and I was gonna say too. Um, if you didn't get in on the pre order for Be So Horny, um, Cigar Hustler, uh, made of Be So Horny. I am not sure one hundred percent what his plans are. To be so horny, but um, he mentioned it on his Patreon account last week, uh, which I did not listen to. But not a Patreon, but somebody told me that he announced it on the podcast. So, um, yeah. And if that was choppy for listeners, Cigar Hustler is going to have some packs. They might split them up. We'll see. Who knows? Yes. Uh, the logo, dude, I don't, I'm going to try to post this with a new logo for Apple podcasts, but it took like seven weeks last time. Damn. Yeah. We'll see. Hey, the home run derby just happened. I only watched it because I was working that day. But what I realized, because I don't watch baseball anymore, but when I did watch baseball as a kid, I think... I don't know which came first. My love of baseball. Baseball is my first word, by the way. Or my love of alliteration. I just figured this out. Look at this. Mark McGuire. Barry Bonds. Sammy Sosa. Jason Giambi. They're they're all alliterated. Uh, So I was trying to think of cigar people. I only have Mo Molly and Steve Saka. Are there any other cigar people with... Alliterated names. Alliterated? Uh, hmm. uh, Question for the listeners. Not, Leave a comment yeah. if you think of any or DM us. Oh, I messaged uh, Andre. Customer gave me an Indonesian cigar. Not just a cigar with Indonesian tobacco, but it's all Indonesian. Uh, and I looked it up and I think it was a second website was his he actually smoked and reviewed it like 2018 so that was cool oh my what did he say um i we talked because i uh messaged him it was nutty to start out with but then i don't know how this one was kept because it was just a random customer that gave it to me it got bitter halfway and i ended up tossing it oh yeah (laughs) oh real quick home alone I had a customer, and he took my recommendation. I have my tag on the SNR by Black Label. And one. he comes up, and I ask him, oh, how was that? He's like, that, that wasn't a good cigar. I said, oh, well, I'm sorry, man. Was, uh, was it not your flavor profile? Was it too strong? He's like, no, it just didn't have any flavor. And that hurt. Yeah. And then he he... Then sat in two different seats. So a total of three seats in the lounge he took up and ashed in three different ashtrays. I hate that. 
Pick one ashtray and ash in there. That thing. Um, any new releases that really caught your eye? Have you been paying attention at all? Uh, the twentieth for Tetuai looks good. Crown heads, the one with the V that looks like a Cuban brand, but different colors. That was really good. Uh, Luciano, one was it Turkish tobacco? Okay. Istanbul. Uh, what else? Volstead. Volstead. Um, I need to go through half wheel. Next shift. I need to go comments. Try to win a guitar. Metallica yeah. guitar. Oh, and I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, bring in that new foundation. Yeah, they had a, it was a pretty big order for the uh, the one that uh, the Nicaraguan poet. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Maybe half wheel. Not half wheel. Maybe a small batch will do a sampler pack to get it. It was good. It was really good. It was, it was strong. Ernesto Perez, Perez Carrillo, how long ago do you think he had the idea of the Pledge of Allegiance? Um, I guess it was one of the reps to come up with that. Well, do you think it was before the Pledge cigar or when he came out the Allegiance? No, the, when they came out the Allegiance, the guy who kind of put it together, like, oh, Pledge of Allegiance, like one of the reps did or the team guys came up with it. Huh. Just wasn't sure if this was like a years in the making. No. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um. Got to hang out with mom. Doing good. Went to dinner with him a couple nights. Um. Back and not the room on one. Nice. I got the new Green Hornet from Black Label. I smoked the new uh, Tatsuai 10-year with the San Andreas wrapper. It was good. Um, I got the new. I got some other new stuff from Crown Heads. Um, new Lost Covers. Boxers. No, they don't have sample Lost Covers. It's already right. sold. Um... Got, oh, I got the new stuff from Rainier Lorenzo HBC. I gave him a sample. Um, Indiana posted that she has a sample and she can't wait to try it. Yeah. Wait to try it. It's fresh again. Um, Those white foot bands were a great addition. Late addition. Yeah, I'm really glad we gifted that. Um, I was talking to you about this, but. I was I was I got a little uh, in my feelings when uh, I was talking to Coop about the uh, press release. He's like, he's like, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I thought it was funny, but nobody will take you serious. And I'm like, cigar called Be So Horny. It's a, uh, a, a run of 2,500 cigars. Like, like, dude, whatever. So I was. Uh, I was mad. Or I was like, uh, oh, well, yeah, I would say I was mad. Yeah. I didn't know. Uh, but yeah. How'd you, how'd you uh, get through that? With him? Maybe, or maybe I'll get over. No, no. Maybe we'll wait till the next episode or when the, the VH is sent out because your audio is not the best. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I got the last. And to get this done uh, before I got home. Um, are you available next Tuesday? I should be. Okay, then we'll get yeah, we'll get Mo on, and then we'll have we'll yeah. another PC. Yeah. This was something short and sweet. We we didn't do one earlier in the week because I was in Vegas, so we just wanted to get something quick. I'm sorry about the audio. Oh, and. International Cigar Society doing their meetup, second annual meetup this weekend. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the stickers to them uh, during the thing because my shift's mixed up and I'm not going to see Triple B till Monday. So that sucks, but I hope everyone has a good time if you guys are listening. And I'll figure out stickers next week. 
All right. Um, yeah, let's do a quick one this week, and then next week we'll do a, a more of a uh, a little more in depth with the PCA. But I just wanted to get a quick little talk about some of the um, uh, be so horny impressions. And once again, I'm sorry for the audio. All good. All good in the hood. Yeah, yeah. What it do? <laughs> what it do? <laughs> all right, that's all. All right, thanks, guys. Rock and roll. Keep those cigars on ice. Yeah.